Alright, so in this video, I just want to be going through a quick tutorial on how I animate characters landing and jumping out of screen. I'll be animating with a Spider-Man figure and a Hulk figure, so you can see the differences in the weight when the character lands and when they take off. Now before you start animating, it's probably best to have all the props that you're going to be using in the stop motion video ready to go, because if you don't have them kind of prepped, it can kind of ruin the momentum of certain shots that you'll be needing. And what I usually use for stop motion videos is blue tack, and this helps keep the characters standing up if they are not being bussin. I'll usually put it at the bottom of their feet and it will help them stay up, obviously. And something else I also use is just cotton, and what I use the cotton for is kind of like a dust cloud, so when the character lands, it'll leave some dust and each frame, it'll kind of get smaller and smaller. And I also use that when the character leaps off of the screen, it kind of leaves like a dust cloud behind them. So that's something I use a lot with animations. And when it comes to certain characters like the Hulk, whenever he lands, he'll kind of break up the cement a bit. And what I do with that is I'll add cardboard pieces that are supposed to be little pieces of rubble. And it's kind of like he's broken the ground underneath him. And then with each frame, we kind of move the cardboard a bit so it kind of looks like the rubble underneath them is breaking and that's what you'll probably be needing for this video all right so let's jump into actually animating this so now i'm going to be walking you through how to animate a basic character like spider-man landing in a frame and what you're going to want to do is first of all we're going to get spider-man in a pose where he's actually going to look like he's landing into frame like he's already leaped so we'll start with getting him here then you take the picture and then you take the picture like this and then you take the picture again and at this point you could put the blue tack on the bottom of the feet if you'd like you would bring the character's arms to the front a bit and this is when you could add the dust clouds if you'd like next to the character's feet and something I've been doing recently in videos is I'll actually be moving the camera with the character at certain points like this and then you can move the dust clouds a bit you'll bring the character down with the weight of his body and you can move the camera and you can take the picture like that and again and then you eventually you'll move the dust clouds to a point where you feel like they wouldn't be there anymore and you can take them out of the frame and again like I was saying as the character is moving down you can move the camera down with him just to bring a bit more movement and then as the character is getting back up I usually will bring the camera up with him as well and a little side note something that's helped me out a lot with stop motion stuff is actually posing the figure Bruh. I guess that seems kind of ridiculous as that's usually what stop motion is but uh, just posing the character in a way you would think an actual person would be moving. I've seen stop motion videos where stop motion, stop motion, well Spider-Man would land and his arms are kind of like way out like this and then he's here and then he lands like this and then he gets up like this and then the next frame his arms are like down. It's like, well, that doesn't really make sense. You're going to be wanting to have the whole character kind of be moving with the weight of his own body kind of deal. And then when he gets back up like this, again with the whole weight, I bring the character down. And you'll be bringing his arms back a bit. And again with the camera, I usually we'll be moving it with the character so when he gets about here I'll have the character jump off the screen and then you're gonna want to pose him like he's jumping away and you can also add the cotton at this point as well behind the character and as the character is getting further out of the screen you'll be moving this back as well as I follow the character as he's going off screen Once it gets to about here and the character is not in frame anymore, I bring the camera down and 
and kind of back up until it evens itself out again just to add a bit more movement so I can show you that in one frame per second so it's a bit slower and you can kind of see what I'm going on about and then in 11 frames per second is usually what I work with With a character like the Hulk, obviously, the character has a lot more weight and when they would land, they actually could break the ground or like the cement when they land. And that's something I like to do in animations is add little uh, torn up pieces of cardboard here that were painted but the paints come off but it's supposed to kind of look like cement being torn up from the ground when the character lands. Um, it'll be the same kind of deal with Spider-Man. The character will just be in frame until they land. And they get here, and then I add a bit more cotton with a character like the Hulk, just because they're bigger. Um, I don't have much on here right now, but and then I would add pieces of cardboard like this and then I would also move the character uh, sorry move the camera down with the character and then I'd take the shot I'd move the character again move some of the cotton and I'll also be moving the pieces of cardboard and then I would move the camera up like this then I'd take the shot and then move the camera back down again. Gonna move the character. We're moving all these pieces as well. And then I take the shot. And then I do that for a couple times. So when the character lands, it kind of gives the illusion that the ground is shaking. And as the cotton is moving back, you can use less. So it looks like the dust cloud is getting smaller. And then until it gets to a point where it's out of frame. And with the cement stuff, um, I do find it fun to animate with when it's kind of like loose rubble and then it just kind of spins or whatever it may be just because there's no real rhyme or reason to where it'll end up. So with each shot, you'll be kind of moving that as well as the character gets up. I'll also be moving the camera up with them and then when the character wants to jump, he's going to bring his body back with his weight. And that's something I'll also do is move the camera a little bit with the character. And then they'll hold it for maybe a couple frames before uh, they take off. And again... I use cotton at this point when they take off like that and I'll also be moving the camera with them you can take another shot when he's over here and you'll be moving the cotton back as well and then I usually do a couple shots when the character is gone and then I bring it down and then I kind of move the camera a bit until it evens itself out. So I'll be showing you that now, as well as the one frame per second, so you can kind of see what's going on a bit easier. Easier? Mmm, I don't know if that would work. Easy? Mmm, you can see what's going on is what I'm trying to say.
All right, so I think that's gonna be all for this video. Just wanted to do a quick little tutorial on, obviously, the characters jumping in a frame. If you have any questions or you would like to see any other tutorials, just leave a comment below in this video and I'll try and get to them. I enjoy reading all the comments and I try and help out as much as I can with the animation stuff. If you could leave a like on this video, that would help me out a lot. I'm trying to get in that YouTube algorithm. Uh, do be needing to get in there. Let me in, let me in, man. And if you could go on my channel, see a couple of my videos that you might enjoy, that would also help out a lot as well. So, thanks for watching. Maybe you could at me in some of your stop motions that you've been working on to see. Uh, you can try out this tutorial and, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll respond. I don't know. We'll see, let's see what's going on. Uh, thanks for watching.